We saw in the last tutorial how we could open up a sound file, a WAV file specifically, and pass it into the readSF object and have it play in pure data. And let's just remind ourselves of how that works. If I just put myself into run mode and <coughs> clicking on the message box that plays the sound file. You'll notice, however, that the sound file stops playing. It only plays the once and that's it. What happens if we want to loop that sound file around and around again? Well, there's a few different tricks that we can do to, to make this happen. And the first thing that I draw your attention to is this read SF object. It's got this right outlet that we haven't discussed yet. And just to show you what it does, I'll just do it by example. If I put in a bang object and I connect it to that outlet, and then I'm going to play the file again. Notice that the bang happens, it gets sent out from that outlet from the readSF object at the end of the file. So just let's notice that again. There, a bang. At the end of every time the sound file is played, a bang will get emitted from that outlet. So we can use that to our advantage. Let's remind ourselves how we make this sound file play. We use this open message box, and by clicking on it, it sends the message into the readSF object. But there's also another way to trigger that message to be passed into the readSF object, and it's, it hovers around this uh, inlet here on the open message box. If I send in a bang trigger there, it will trigger the message, and that will pass it into the readSF object. And at the end of every sound file that's played, a bang gets emitted out at this right inlet of the readSF object. So if I can use that bang that gets emitted from there, and I drag it into the inlet of the message box, at the end of the sound file, once a bang gets emitted from this outlet, a bang will then get passed into the message box again, and the whole process repeats itself, or essentially it loops. So let's try that. I'm going to click on the message box. So we can see at the end of every time the sound file is played, a bang is emitted. And the file is played again. Just to stop it, I'm going to take away that uh, cable connection from the bang into the message box. And a handy way to stop these types of files, otherwise we'll loop indefinitely, is we need to put in another message box. Put in the number 0 and connect that to the readSF file. And now, if we loop the sound file, we can easily stop it by feeding in a zero message into the readSF object. And that's how to loop sound files in pure data.